hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my quick review for Braxton Family Values. This is, what is this, season six. Season six, episode 25, Wine Country. Let me say this, okay? It was a good episode, but at the same time, that damn Tamar, look, that damn Tamar, that damn Tamar, okay? Um, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and mug I'm a whole J bird, okay? A whole J bird in these streets or whatever. I'm um, in all that good shit. Do not forget to also like, comment, and share this video. Hit the like button right now, okay? Hit the hit the goddamn button, okay? Or whatever. Um, I don't have no notes. I just watched now. I'm going to go off the cusp or whatever because it wasn't much that really happened. So we see the episode starts off and Tawanda goes to see Sean, her man Sean, who in the studio she had him sign the old CD when the Braxton was a whole group or whatever back when he helped produce their they album and whatnot. You know, and he was like, dang, all that time ago. And so she said, did you ever think back then we would be here now? And he was like, well, no. He bring, They both bring up how they kind of clicked back then, but Tawanza had a whole boyfriend. Now, I don't know if that boyfriend was her future husband, but she was dating somebody, so he's like, we ain't go there or whatnot. And then, of course, all these years later, they a couple. But then she said, like, you know, we having a whole, you know, sister's, trip to Napa, you know what I'm saying, to like a little wine place or whatnot, and you gotta go. I don't want to be the odd man now. And she said, well, you won't be. You want to know why? Because all the men are coming. You know, Tracy's bringing her husband. Trina's bringing Vaughn. Well, Tracy's bringing her husband, Kevin. Trina bringing her man, Vaughn. Tamar bringing David. And of course, she bringing Sean. Now, she said that Tony was bringing Birdman. I didn't believe her. I did not believe it for one second. Even if it was a plan for Birdman to attend, Birdman ain't coming to shit on this show, okay? The couple times we've seen him, he's either been late or he come and then he leaves, okay? He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, mm -mm. He and Tony's agreement does not include him making any kind of regular appearances on that show when he's supposed to be there. He like, I'm a pop-up when I'm not supposed to be there, and that's really going to be it or whatnot. But I'm not great. I digress. So, we then see the couples, you know, get to the, little, the beautiful lodging one by one. Now, Tony was already there looking like a dang old ninja or a cat burglar, one or two, and she says hers. Her skin is allergic to the sun. I think it has something to do with her lupus. Because she brings up sometimes when she's in the sun, her body just acts weird. So, we're going to let that go. But she got there first and she picked the best room. And they said, well, she probably picked the best room because what she is by herself. Because who ain't there? The bird man. Okay. Brrr, he ain't there. So, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyway, she picked the best room. She keeps saying, I'm going to be fine because this room, the bed costs... $50,000. I said, what does it do? Like, you just lay there? Why does the bed cost 50? I mean, does it sleep for you? Does it lift you up and lay you down? Does it spread you out? Like, what does it do that it costs $50,000? And I'm like, and who goes to lodge at some Napa Valley Hotel or whatever? And they say, you know that bed costs fifty grand? Does it? I want that bed. You know, mm-mm. I'm just like, what does it do? I mean, anyway. So, um, who got there first? Uh, no, Tracy and Trina got there first with their respective men or whatever. And so they go pick their rooms. You know, Vaughn and, 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 uh, and Trina get one room, okay? We see Tracy and Kevin get the other one. Tracy being nasty, like, yeah, this bed gonna be good. She get on the bed, roll over, toot that ass up, you know what I'm saying? Toot that thing up, my... Let me stop. Anyway, we gonna, we gonna, get, we gonna do all kinds of stuff. But you know what? That's what you're supposed to do, okay? Because trust and believe. <laughs> that was anything, anything like that. Anyway, so we see a cute little conversation between Vaughn and Kevin. Because remember, Kevin's the only le brother-in-law left. Oh, everybody else got divorced um, or whatever. So he like, you know, he gonna be the first time he's really hanging out with his sister-in-law's men, okay? Basically, his sister-in-law's boyfriends or whatever. So him and Vaughn talk. Vaughn kind of opens up about how hard it was for him and Trina, not, not him and Trina, but how hard it was for him 
to be understanding, to be there for, and to help and deal with Trina grieving over Gabe. Who, at the end of the day, as he see it, was her ex-husband. Yes, we know Trina and Gabe, Trina and Gabe surpassed ex-husband, ex-wife. We know they were really, really, really good friends. We know that Trina looked at Gabe as one of her best friends. So, for her, it wasn't just her losing her ex-husband, someone she was in love with. He was a friend of her. But Vaughn said, like, for me, it still was hard to see her visibly grieving over this man, um, you know, and, and him, like, that was her ex-husband. So, you know, he said that was the hardest thing he had to do. He said, but he loves her so much. He was like, even though it wasn't easy, even though I didn't like it, even though it was, it was hard and it was some bullshit, it was bullshit, duh, 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 you know what I'm saying? I still did it. Kevin, for the most part, you know what, I like I, I, I like uh, Vaughn, you know, Vaughn scene, you know, I, you know, he like me and Tracy, you know, me and Trina close, you know, she, he's closest to that sister, and he says it, it makes him happy to see her happy with Vaughn, okay, so it's cute to see the two, you know, future brother-in-laws to, you know what I'm saying, to Vaughn, I don't think people understand, like, when you have siblings, you want your spouses to, and, and your siblings to get along, okay, points blank, period, you know, my brother's wife, Shay, we get along great. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be any issues between your sibling and your spouse. Because and any dude I date going to have to get along with my brother and my sister. Point blank, period. So it's cute seeing that, you know. Uh, we then see uh, uh, Tawanda got there with Sean. They picked their room or whatever. Again, you know, hey, Sean. Hey, y'all. Hey. They sitting around, you know, Tony and they're sleeping because she by herself. So she's sleeping, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. Um, so we see, uh, Trina, not Trina, a uh, Tracy, and they say, what, what Tracy and Kevin? Back there being nasty. So we see, for the most part, Tawanda and Trina with Vaughn and Sean hanging out. You know, Vaughn and Sean chit-chatting, jaw-jacking or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Sean saying how he don't have no kids, but he, you know, but that, that ain't c completely out for the future. You know, Vaughn bring up how he loves having his children, but he's also happy he ain't having no more or whatever. And so, you know, cute, cute little chit-chat, you know, they teasing Tawanda because, you know, Tawanda threw up at that little memorial thing that they, they threw for Gabe, and now she's in there and she's not drinking no, no, no champagne. Tawanda good for making people think something going on for a storyline or for some entertainment, okay, to make them be wondering. I mean, it's good because now she is interesting. So, Trina, like, she ain't drink that wine. I wonder if she's really, really pregnant. No, she isn't, okay? She's not pregnant, but we're going to play along. So, you know, we see Tawan like, all right, I'm going to go lay down. And then Sean was like, oh, well, I guess I'll just, you know. And she was like, and she kind of rubbed the wall. He's like, oh, you know, I think I'm going to go lay down too. And they're going to go be do nasty things. And then so uh, Trina and Gabe, not Lord Jesus, Trina and Vaughn eventually retired to their room. So each couple in their room doing things. It was cute to see Trina and Vaughn canoodling and kissing. He really do seem, first of all, Vaughn is a grown-ass man in these streets. And he seemed like a grown-ass man who's in love with a grown-ass woman. And Trina seems different with Vaughn. And I like it. You know, them in their room, and, you know, and they was kissing real cute, like, or whatever. Real adult-like, like, not nasty or whatever. It was real adult cute. I, You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. It was cute to see. And it's also, again, it's good to see Trina happy, okay? It's good to see Tawanda happy. You know, Tawanda and Sean, I have to admit, I like them together. They both crack jokes here and there. It seems like they get each other. It's cute. It's real, real cute. And for the most part, you know, Sean and Tawanda been dating for almost two years. Trina and Vaughn been dating for almost two years. So it's real cute. We know Tracy and Kevin been married for down to 30. And, and Bourbon and Tamar, I mean, Bourbon and Tony, girls, null and void. So, whatever. So, everybody to pick their room. Now, we know the trip is supposed to also be a birthday weekend, a birthday weekend celebration for Tamar. However, it's also Trina's, not Trina, Tracy's birthday is coming up, too. And this is my thing about when you have siblings who have birthdays around each other. I feel like if y'all are siblings, and if my birth, like my birthday January 16th, like look, none of my with none of my siblings we don't have birthdays where I'm in January, my brother's in March, my my sister's in October, my mom's in July. So none of our birthdays are close enough. 
my nephew and my brother birthdays are a week apart but you know two different states so we ain't never got to worry about that however if the family all gets the no i take that back my brother was here for his birthday this year. And when we went out to dinner, his wife made sure the, the birthday celebration included my brother, my nephew, and her, I think her grandmama? It was a third person. It was their birthdays were all at the same time. So it was a celebration for them all. You want to know why? Because we're fucking family. So Tamar wants this birthday celebration trip to be solely about her, even though Trina birthday... Not Trina, Tracy. Tracy birthday is coming up and Tamar birthday has passed. Okay? I remember when they took this trip when she was posting about it because I remember the week or two before that was her birthday stuff. So I'm like, it wasn't even her birthday. Her birthday had already passed. Trina birthday was coming up, but they took this trip or whatnot. And they say suppose it was because she was in the house and stuff and they moved. It doesn't matter. Tamar wants the trip strictly about her. She don't really want to even acknowledge the fact that Tracy birthday is coming up too. Which is some bullshit that's coming afoot on Tamar's ass. Okay, I feel like how are you so childish and petty and selfish and just a bitch to where your sister's birthday is maybe a week away and you don't want anyone to acknowledge her birthday as well. Because that's what Tamar did from the moment Tamar got there. Tamar and... And, and, and David got there the, the latest, okay? They got there when it was pitch dark, okay? They got there so late, the staff who welcomed all the other sisters was off work, okay? Wasn't nobody there. Tamar had to find her way around when nobody, wasn't no one around to show them shit, which means Tamar got there in the heat of the fucking night. So then what also made me mad was Tamar was walking around just walking in rooms, knowing her sisters and their men are there. How you know your sister ain't in there sucking dick? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't never time on God's green earth. I don't care where I'm at that I'm walking into a room and not knocking when grown folk who marry and who do it is in there. Tamar, can somebody show me my room? I'm the birthday girl. I, I should. How did nobody wait for me? Like I, I should got my my room first. So whatever. They walk in room to room. They walk in my room. Oops, my bad. Close the door. Could have been in a second dick or, or eating coochie. I don't know which one. Okay, it could have been either or. And her and David walk into one open room. And David like, oh, this must be our room. This ain't our room. This is small. It, it, it's a, it's a, it was a nice sad room with a bed. I don't know what else she needed. I don't know if she wanted a whole, you know what I'm saying, pool in front of her bed. I don't know if she wanted, you know what I'm saying, maid quarters on each end. I don't know what she wanted. David said, I'm appreciative to be here with her, period. I don't need all that extra stuff. I could be in the bathroom. I, would, I really wouldn't care. Not Tamar. I'm real unappreciative. You know, that shits me. And I don't mean to be negative, Nancy. You always hate on Tamar. Tamar do shit to aggravate my fucking nerve. And as a Tamartian who's logical and who's older and who don't put up with bullshit, Tamar's antics irks my goddamn nerves. Points a blank, period. So now Tamar walk around room to room because she's upset that her sisters all picked rooms, did not wait for her to get there, and she was left with that particular room. Who, if you the birthday girl and it's about you, bitch, come early. Okay, I would have been first, bitch, because I want the best room. Okay, I'm not going to come last and be upset that I had the last pick of room. Bitch, I came last. It's called last for a reason. And again, the room wasn't bad at all, bitch. It's a luxury hotel in Napa Valley with the Braxton Sisters. Girl, it wasn't a goddamn shack. Okay, it wasn't the slave quarters. It wasn't the maze room, bitch. It was a regular ass room. But I digress. So she walked in one particular room and she walked into Trina and Vaughn's room. And I'm not going to say production didn't make any of them aware that she was going to walk in. What I'm going to say is they was in there kissing, you know, while he was on his computer. And they was kissing and canoodling. And Tamar was seeing and Vaughn said, oh, you don't knock first? I say, come on, grown man with the response. You don't, because that's what we do. Knock, knock, knock. Like, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I would have knocked first again. You can't be walking on people's doors, you know, not knocking. Um. Anyway, she was like, no, mm -mm, but y'all ain't doing it. How you know? Anyway, because I feel, let me stop. Let me just calm down. So, y'all room nice and big. 
he says the bigger than yours. Yes. So him and Trina start laughing like, ha, 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 you know. And Tr Trina said, "We need this big old room for this man, you know, because he needs space. These size fourteen shoes come through, Tr rep for your dude in a nice, joking, you know, not obnoxious type of way." Tamar then becomes, uh, uh, "I'm gonna throw up." Well, get out, bitch. Go to your room and puke. Don't puke in here. Anyway, so we see that whole thing. You know, they then all get at the table to for dinner. Tracy, Kevin, and Tony came later because they were laying down. They were sleeping or whatever. But, you know, the dudes sitting around, the t t t Tony came last. So we see couple, 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 couple or whatever sitting up there chit-chatting or whatever. You know, Tamar relaxed and again to Wanda not drinking no drink. Tamar, you, I mean, Tamar, you pregnant? You knocked up? You ain't drinking? Da -da -da -da. To, no, I'm not pregnant. So we're not going to do that. No, she's not pregnant. It was what it was. Davis then starts asking each couple, like, well, how did y'all meet? Like, how did y'all meet? How did y'all meet? And, you know, of course, I think Trina said, not Tr well, Trina and Vines, that they met through a mutual friend, a business partner of Vines. Um, uh, um, Tracy and Kevin said they met at work. Okay, and then, of course, we know Sean and Tawana met, you know, working together. Tony said, of course, I met Barbara because we worked together. I said, oh, okay. And they said, well, when was y'all, like, when was y'all first kiss? Well, you know, he was always kissing me on the cheek. She's like, like, no, like, when was y'all first, like, you know, kiss, kiss. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, that's crazy. So, T Tony said, well, you know, I don't think my sister should be privy to my personal life with, 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 with B. I said, Tony, is it because you can't remember? Is it because it's never happened? Is it because you don't want to lie on camera? Okay, don't lie on camera. Just say, I don't remember. It never happened. My lips and his, his lips have never touched. I'm not sure, but I don't know anyone who has a... I'm going to keep it private. I mean, if y'all engaged, people are assuming y'all at least kissed or had sex. You can't say the first time y'all kissed. Even if you lie and say, oh, it was like when he was following me on tour. Like in one night, he just kissed me. Three years ago. Or whatever. But, you know, girl, I told y'all that fake relationship. I can't deal with it. So, they get to, you know, David and Tamar, and he say how they was at a party, and he just, it was all, it was a table of people, and I just seen her. You know, the spotlight was on her, I, and I seen her face. Even though she had this blonde, this long blonde wig or whatever, I just saw her face and how gorgeous she was or whatever. He then say, when I saw her, I did not realize that she was a black woman. <laughs> Bro, when he said that, Everyone was like, oh, my God. What? What? Oh, my God. So, he was like, you know, I, I didn't I didn't know. I thought you may have been mixed. This or that. So, <laughs> Sean, who's Tawana's man, was like, David, sh don't say Like, just stop. Don't, don't. Just don't do it. Because, you, like, you're driving down the road. You don't want to go on. And they're like, what you mean you didn't know? Like, she, you didn't know she was black. He said, I, I thought she may have been mixed with this or that or whatever. And I say, don't ask the price. Tamar said, I was looking good that night. We all know sometimes when Tamar wore her blind wig, she has on makeup that makes her look lighter. And in a, a dark room, she can look like a white woman or just another woman besides a black woman. So I don't think him saying that was crazy. I think it just means sometimes Tamar wakes does things that she looks a different race. I've seen photos of her where the makeup has made her look like her. And I can see if a stranger don't know who she is, he may think he wasn't saying that he didn't he thought she was white. He said he thought she just wasn't a black woman. She was mixed with something else and whatnot. Okay. Whatever. So they had the whole different thing. You know, it was cool or whatnot. You know, when they sit there, like, somebody bring up how, you know, it's also Tracy's birthday, but Tamar wants to, like, you know, I'm the birthday girl, you know, it's me, it's me, I'm the birthday girl, it's me, it's me, and girl, you too old for that, you 43, 42, 41, in your 40s, okay, kind of fucked down. Anyway, so we see that whole thing, we then see them go wine tasting. And it was cute. They was tasting some wines or whatever. And they had to clean their palate. So they ate a little cracker. And as they passed the crackers to each other, like communion, drinking wine and crackers. 
they started singing a song, okay, a little church hymn. It was real cute. And this, the dude was like, oh, okay, here they go. Because y'all know the sisters sometimes break out a song. However, Davis knew. So David was like, I guess I can join in too. So David was trying to join in and sing. Uh uh, don't you sing? C covered his mouth and everything. Like, just hush up, let us sing. I said, I said, okay, he don't know yet, but he'll figure it out. So it was a cute little thing and whatnot. So we then see they leave in there and we see the guys go back to the villa and they're in like a little common area, the, the little pool area. So again, it's David, it's Kevin. It's Sean and it's Vaughn. The girls are gone. So the guys are just bonding and hanging out. You know, we see Kevin who's, you know, he's shooting dice, you know, got the dice. They teaching David and also Vaughn a little bit how to shoot some dice or whatever. You know, they chit chat and talking or whatever. You know, Vaughn again. They ask Vaughn again about him and Trina. He brings up how, you know, it was hard for him to see her grieve. They ask him, you know, when he gonna propose. He says soon. He said, truth be told, all T no shade, you know, have had Gabe not gotten sick and passed away, I would have been did it. But because that happened, you know, she has so much going on. It just, the timing wasn't right. He's like, but I'm gonna do it soon. Um, you see. David then said how he asked Tamar to meet his his mama, his family, how he how no other woman has met his mom. And he said, you know, yeah, because I asked her. You know, I just asked the question. Then like, what question? He said it because he's not from here. He said it as if he asked her to marry him. He's like, no, 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 I just asked her. I'd like to meet my, meet my mom. They're like, oh, when you say that you asked her the question, to us that means, you know what I'm saying, you asked her to, to marry you. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, no, nah, I get like eventually, but you know what I'm saying, not right now. Um, and it was cute seeing the guys bonding, um, just, again, chit-chatting and jaw-taking like dudes do. Um, they asked Daisy, like, when you, like, did you get in trouble with Tamar about saying that she didn't look black or whatever? He's like, well, y'all always get in trouble with Tamar. Like, it's always something. You know what I'm saying? I get in trouble. We make up. It be real good. He said, sometimes I will create a fight or argument just to make up with her. And I'm like, which means he may have a little tiff, Okay. To get some coochie, okay, or whatnot. So, but again, they talking as men, bonding as men, which they should do because they are all dating sisters. And so, as a woman, you should want your man to bond with your sister's dudes because you should want them to all get along. Because if they all get along, y'all can all hang out together. However, Tamar was there and they ain't know. So, Tamar come out, David. Mm, come on, let's go. He like what? I was, just, and the guy like, well, we we like we just chilling with this bonder. He can't he can't hang with us. No, he got to hang with me. I say, you know what? See, <sighs> say my poor David in the room. What y'all talking about? What they say? What you say? I'm like, so you called your man and there to gossip to you. People, somebody look. Somebody said, you know, my sister in law Shay said David seems like he may be gay. And he could be, Tamar could be his beard. And that can, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is, Tamar called him in and the guys are like one of her friends. What they was talking about? What was I talking about? What was he talking about? What was they talking about? I'm like, girl, like, why you don't want your man to be a man? Do you want your, your man to be your friend, your girlfriend, your, your, your homegirl? Like, I, 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 would, I would never pull my dude out of a room hanging out with my, my, my sister's men, we all in the same house. They just in there talking, like men do. I would never call him in there to talk with me and be like, okay, let's gossip. I wouldn't do that. You want to know why? Because the other dude's going to say, girl, see, we can't talk to him. Because he's going to probably run to Tamar. Can't do it. Like, And what did he do? Yeah, we was talking about Vaughn and how he felt about, about gay, you know, talking about gay, you know what I'm saying? Kevin showed me how to play craps. Oh, I can't have that. That's ghetto, and you not ghetto, and don't do that. You can't be somewhere at work playing crafts in the corner. And I'm like, she made it seem, Tamar made it seem like David is, it's the difference between you don't want your man who's a businessman to get caught up in some foolishness versus we on a trip to Napa, and my brother-in-law just showing him how to throw dice. Like, because men do that kind of shit to, to bond. Some dudes play space. Some play dominoes. Kevin shoot dice, you know, because Kevin said he's a gambler. But, I mean, if you shoot dice, whether you go play blackjack or play the goddamn, whatever it is, I'm like, Tamar, you, girl, 
it aggravated me how she said to David that he should not be hanging out with Kevin and them and Sean because, you know what I'm saying, David, you not ghetto, you know, that's a bad thing. Like, they don't do that. And I'm like, it made me feel bad. And I can see where it's going and I can see why in a later episode, Tracy gets pissed the fuck off. And I would get pissed the fuck off too. Especially when I watched this episode back, if, if I seen how she was talking to her man about my man and you my sister, bitch, I'm upset. Because that's, how you feel about my husband, your brother-in-law? All right, bitch, we got beef. Point blank, period. I don't think there's anything wrong with grown men in their home setting or on a vacation and they playing with dice on the pool table and playing for dollars. They it was like five bucks on the table. Girl, the fuck the table might say, you not even gamble away my my shopping money. It just aggravated me. Like it really, 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 really did. So. Stupid. It just made me mad. And David looks so innocent to like whatever she's asking him. He just tell her whatever she wants to know. And he he shouldn't lie to his woman or whatever. But I do. I feel like Tamar should let that man be a man. Don't take that man balls from him. But not, girl, the fuck by. Anyway, we then see you know they have to they not have to, but they have a a dinner plan for Tamar because again it's her birthday, not their birthday. And or whatever so everybody at the table okay who gonna say grace kevin says grace and when kevin says grace kevin says we're gonna wish you a happy happy birthday to tamar and to tracy because you want to know why because tracy is his wife and if you notice you can see the table tracy is a bit upset i feel like it's because they probably heard shit tamar was saying okay anyway so they get tamar get, there was chit chat i don't really remember what was being said or whatnot um but they give him or her gifts because it's my birthday. I'm the birthday queen. It's me, 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 and all that. So she get a couple gifts. They give her one gift, and it was uh, a hot air balloon ride. You know, then you get in the little the little basket, and you go up in the air. I'm terrified of heights. Terrified. So I wouldn't do that either. Okay. Um, what I. It depends on who I'm with. If I'm with my man and he okay with it, if he can get me up there, yeah, I probably would. Because I don't have to climb down. You know what I'm saying? If I'm just up high and I'm stable, and it's stable, nah, I don't know. I'm, I'm a big girl. Like, what's the weight limit, bitch? <laughs> it is. But again, that was her gift. And she said, I'm scared of heights. I, nope, I don't want that. Cool, she got accepted. They then give her a little gift. It was some sunglasses. Oh, you know, thank you. So they then bring her a cake. And they sing a happy birthday, you know, blow the candles out and everything. And Tamar then says, well, you know, for my birthday, my 10 gifts, you know what I'm saying? Because it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Me. Because if it's their happy birthday, to me. To, to me. I'm like, we get it. You don't want them to acknowledge Tracy. We get it. And Tracy then says, I get that Tamar wants it to be about her, even though my birthday is like, in a couple of days, so but I'm not going to make it be an issue. She wants it to be about her, you know, baby sister Tamar, whatever. It's fine. We used Tamar be acting like that. So when they get the cake to me, to me, um, Tamar then says like, well, I want you know we can't cut pieces. Like everybody has to like put their hands in the cake and grab a piece and eat it. That's what I want to happen. Okay, cool. So. Most of them, you know, go to reach for the cake. <clears throat> Tony doesn't. Tony just puts her hand near the cake, but doesn't grab any cake. Tamar then says, okay, now nah, was wrong. I don't want no cake. Tony didn't put her hand in it. She just had her fingers. I don't want that. Now nah, she's upset. because as she, Now nah, she's upset because one person did not put their hand in her cake and eat it. But but other people did. Other people got the cake and girl. And she said, this is the worst birthday ever. It's ruined. I got to... She must have my cake. I got one car and one pair of sunglasses. I, they got to give me something else. I know it got to be more gifts. You ungrateful bitch. You ungrateful, old, bitter bitch. I can't even fathom a grown woman in her 40s with a whole, like, five-year-old son um, who was blessed enough to live the life you live to be upset like that and say, oh, they got me one gift. Bitch, buy your own gifts. Have your man buy you 
plenty of gifts. It's crazy because we've seen her post some of this stuff on her social media when it was happening. And I said the same thing then. I'm going to say now. Nah. Tamar is an ungrateful ass bitch. And I don't wish negative energy or negative karma on anyone. But Tamar draws it into herself. The reason Tamar consistently gets caught up in bullshit is because of things she do. Stupid. Who gets girl? And then Tony was at her confession say the reason I didn't put my hands in Tamar cake because I had a cold and I had been coughing in my hands. Why would I put my hands in cake and other people going to eat it too? That's just nasty. So I just put my hand near the cake, but I didn't want to touch her cake. I would have appreciated that. But my thing is, and that's how it goes off. What Tamar is saying, it's the worst birthday. People want her birthday. You know, the table was negative. You know, it was too much negativity at the table. It was some bullshit. It was, girl... Girl, Tamar needs to look. Tamar needs to go sit the fuck down somewhere and just suck David's dick or let David suck somebody else's dick. I don't know which one she gonna do. And just leave, just be by her fucking self. Get your own show, bitch. Be by yourself, okay? And that way, nobody can ruin anything that you want. I just don't like it when people are inconsiderate and and just rude because they are. You are forty two or forty one, but you're in your forties. You cannot act like that in your 40s. It's, you know how many people don't get birthday gifts because you just get older? When you get older, you should not expect multiple gifts as if you're five. You're not a kid. Kids get, get DJ is 13 years old. Summertime, I just ordered that boy like 13 shirts from an old Navy, three pair of cargo pants because, you know, spend a little bit of money, whatever, because he's a kid and he needs summer clothes. And for summer, my sister gets some clothes and I said, I want to be a nice TT and get him some stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Because he's my nephew. So he got gifts because he's 13. Tamar, you're fucking 40. You're fucking 40. For my for Mother's Day, for my sister, I gave my sister $13 because my nephew 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? And she was appreciative of that. You know what I'm saying? For my sister's birthday, I get like I, I get her one little thing. Like, because we even if we was rich, we would not because we wasn't raised to be bitches like that. And I mean, Tamar. That just irked my nerves because I feel like there's enough going on in her life. You know what I'm saying? Period. She's going through a divorce. She live, she live in that goddamn little ass apartment or whatever. Got another part of it is 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 her her closet. Like I know she got things going on. And bitch, you up in Napa Valley on the TV show with your Nigerian man. You know what I'm saying? And you pissed off because you got one gift from your sister's bitch and you in your forties. <sighs> Bitch, the trip was the gift. Okay? The trip was the gift, bitch. And I just can't do it. I'm done. That Y'all know the episode had me pissed up. If I can recall that much off the brain. Okay? So, if y'all be like, you always going for Tamar. Suck it the fuck up. Okay? Suck it up. Zip it through the fuck away. I can't deal with Tamar. Her and it's just stupid. Stupid, stupid shit. Dumb stuff. Anyway, girl, I'm raving now. So, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.